this is the help video for Excel Chapter 3, Guided Project 3.3. I'm picking up on step number 8. Um, on the left, we have the instruction as it appears in your SimNet um, assignment. And on the right, I have the file as it exists at the end of step 7. So we're going to move from um, the pie chart and start selecting data to create a line chart. So this is uh, the chart that we're trying to, to look at and um, <clears throat> so we're going to start by selecting the Atlanta Revenue Sheet tab and then we want to select A4 through E7. So that is department through week four the first three categories, apparel, baseball, and basketball. We're going to use the quick analysis and select charts. From there, we want to select line, and it puts in um, a line chart with each week across the X and the lines representing the different um, departments. We want to move that chart to its own sheet, so I clicked on Move Chart, New Sheet, and we're going to call this Promo DEPTS. Okay, it puts it um, here at the bottom and expands it to full size. So we have completed all of eight. Now we're going to begin um, applying different formats. Quick layout. We want layout number five. The big thing about five is you get this data table at the bottom that shows the actual values being charted. And so oftentimes that's nice for a line chart. We're now going to change the chart type. So <clears throat> Almost to the very right on the Chart Design tab is Change Chart Type. So we're going to click on that. And we want to find the line with markers. So line with markers. We're going to apply that by saying OK. And now we have the um, the data points on the line. It's not just a line. So these data points are the numbers reflected in the table. All right, so now we chart title. And then um, we're going to triple click and type in here special promotion departments. Click outside of it. Um, and then the vertical right here where there's dollars, we're going to click on that and then triple click and say dollar sales. That's what rep these numbers represent. Um, <clears throat> so we have that done. Format. And then right here, we want to select, uh, what are we selecting? The series apparel. OK, so we have just the blue line selected. And we want to um, format that. So format selection. It's going to bring this format data series up. We want to come back here to the fill and line, the paint, paint um, bucket there. And what are we changing it to? So here we have line. Here we have marker. Let's click on marker. And marker options. Um, right here, we're going to open that up and we want to do built in size 10. And watch these little circles get bigger. Right, so now the little dots on the line are much larger. All right, so now we're going to click on. Um, this blue arrow next to series option, and we want to pick baseball. It's going to keep us in that same um, 
format area, we just changed what we have selected. So now we have the baseball, this red line. So now we're going to do built-in and we're going to make it 10. We want to do this again and pick basketball. Built-in 10. So we changed each line so that baseball, I'm sorry, that this each line, now each dot on the line, each data point is a larger. Um, so let's close that and click off of it and you can see they're much more pronounced. All right, so let's go back to Atlanta Revenue and we want to add a new column um, between E and F. So I go to F, select the column, so I'm up here on F and I click right click, insert, it's going to put one new um, column to the left of what was F and we're going to select B5 through E18. So this is the data we want to do a spark line for. So we're going to insert spark lines we're going to do a line, right? The line spark line. The data range should be filled in. All we need to do is the location range, which is this new set of cells that were inserted when we inserted um, a new column. So F5 through F18. Okay. And so now we see. Um, a spark line next to each set of data. And so you can see the trend for each particular um, department. So now we want to format that. So on the Home tab, in the Format, we want to do Row Height and we want to set it to 24. So because we still have just these selected, it just does the rows that the spark lines are on. Then we want to come back to format and do column width and change it to 35. Okay. So we have that done and that done and select the markers. So right here is the show group and this is where you can add things to display. So we want to put the markers on and so now we have the data points on each line spark lines we want to come up here to the spark line um, the line color we want black text one change the page orientation to landscape so we're going to do page layout orientation landscape. We're going to save this and we can upload this for grade. So we're going to come up here, upload your file, submit it, and get your grade. Hopefully you have a hundred. If not, find what's mistaken uh, and fix it and resubmit it up to two more times. All right, thank you.